Welcome to North Davis County in the city of Provo, both located in beautiful northern Utah and both finding the brown bear auger aerators as part of the solution to their city's sludge handling concerns. Let's first see how the city of Provo is using a brown bear model 400 in their successful composting operation. Here's Larry Garrett, senior operator for the Water Reclamation Department, to tell us about their handling process. Uh, the sludge comes in off of uh, uh, primary thurification and the waste activated sludge goes through anaerobic uh, digestion through, through uh, primary digestion and, uh, and secondary settling. And then from the secondaries, it, uh, it either comes through the somat press and gets dewatered to about 8.5% or we directly pump out into the drying beds at about one and a half to two percent solids. From that point, uh, we take the bear in. We uh, we wanted to uh, to have the bear because uh, you don't get the mixing with a with a loader. At first, we thought uh, maybe the a, a loader would would do the mixing, but the uh, the brown bear does a lot better job, especially with the uh, the paddle type, not the scroll type. It really does a good job of mixing. The brown bear dries the sludge from either 2% solids or 8% solids, depending on whether it was pressed or not, to around 12 to 20% solids. Next, collected green waste, mostly wood chips and grass, is added to the sludge at a 1 to 1 ratio. It is then mixed in the beds until it reaches the consistency to stockpile. The finished compost is then sold for $12.70 per cubic ton, which adds up to a savings from landfill tipping fees alone of over $135 per day for the city. And that's not including the return from selling the finished compost to landscapers and private citizens. Now let's travel up Interstate 15 to the wastewater treatment plant in North Davis County, where a new land application process involving 280 acres of silage cropland is underway. This new process brought expansion with it, including three two and a half acre cement drying beds, a seven acre cement storage area, and a Brown Bear Model 500, the largest self-propelled unit, purchased to assist the existing Brown Bear Model 200 with the increased volume the plant is handling, now nearing 2,700 dry tons per year. The two bears now run side by side, aerating the sludge on a daily basis. The key difference, besides the obvious difference between the size of the units themselves, is the auger unit. This Model 500 is equipped with the toothed paddle auger, while the 200 has a screw type. Both styles of augers are available for all brown bear units. The bears are initially used to break the crust on the sludge which exposes wet solids to solar and wind drying, kills fly eggs embedded in the crust, and helps control odors by supplying oxygen to the sludge. As the material dries, windrows are formed, increasing the exposed surface area, which speeds drying. This reduction in water reduces hauling costs, seepage, and odor during transportation, and increases ease of spreadability for land applications. The pulverizing action of the teeth on the paddle auger create a finished product that has a fine texture. The new paddle auger also handles more material due to its ability to throw the material up ahead of the machine. Both the screw and paddle augers move and reestablish windrows in one pass, which means maximum oxygen incorporation and elimination of anaerobic pockets. The aerator's reverse rotation works the sludge from the bottom up and to the side, aerating all material to ground level. It should also be mentioned that this is the only unit that can build its own windrows initially. Once the material is formed into windrows, alleyways between the windrows are not necessary with this machine, so there is a great reduction in space requirements. Over the past 15 years, the brown bear auger aerators have been incorporated into numerous cities' sludge drying operations, and we'd like to see them in yours.